Hi, boys and girls. Today, I would like to read to you Randy Riley's really big hit by Chris Van Dusen. Randy Riley's really big hit. Randy Riley stood at bat. He gazed out at the mound. His knees began to tremble and his heart began to pound. Then Randy Riley started thinking about the pitcher's throw. He wondered without gravity how far the ball would go. And as he stood there pondering, strike three went whizzing by. You're out, he heard the umpire call, then walked off with a sigh. So if you can see Randy Riley is thinking about the science involved in his hit. He's a scientist. See, Randy was a genius. He just couldn't hit the ball. He struck out every time at bat. He wasn't good at all. But something beyond baseball brought a smile to Randy's face. What Randy Riley really loved was stuff from outer space. He studied all the planets. He memorized their tilt. He researched how the thrusters on the rocket ships were built. He knew the constellations and the light years to the stars. And wouldn't it be great, he thought, to ride a bike to Mars? When Randy Riley got back home, he went up to his room. He knew he stunk at baseball and it filled his heart with gloom. So he took his favorite robots from the shelf above his bed and staged a game of baseball with his robot team instead. That night before he went to sleep, Randy scanned the sky and through his space boy telescope, a glimmer caught his eye. He fiddled with the focus till he saw it crystal clear. It was a massive fireball and it was coming near. Alarmed, he started plotting the projection of its path. He formulated diagrams, he double checked his math. He calculated quickly and concluded with a frown. In 19 days, the fireball would crash into his town. Randy Riley flew downstairs to warn his mom and dad the impact would be major and the damage would be bad. He explained the situation until his face was red, but then, but they told him he was tired and they sent him off to bed. Poor Randy couldn't sleep at all. He thought the whole night through. By morning, it was obvious just what he had to do. He gathered what he needed with, determination, with determined resolu resolution and lugged it off behind the shed to work on his solution. He's got a big stack of supplies here. Randy toiled, which means worked. He toiled for 18 days while other kids had fun, but he was on a mission, so he worked till he was done. At breakfast on the 19th day, the news announcer said, this is special bulletin, emergency, code red. A fireball's approaching. It just flew past the moon. It's coming fast, so be prepared for it to hit by noon. His parents look shocked, don't they? But Randy doesn't really look shocked. Hmm. Everybody burst outside as fear and panic grew, but Randy ran back to the shed. He had a job to do. There he is. He grabbed the tarp and gave a tug. It slid off to reveal the mighty mammoth robot man he'd welded out of steel. The robot needed power and Randy knew precisely that 97 batteries would energize it nicely. He's got a huge stack of batteries. The eyes lit up the engine word. Step one was now complete. So far so good, thought Randy. Then they thundered down the street. Step two of Randy's mission took place just south of town in a section known as Millville where he slowed the robot down. The robot ripped the smokestack off an old abandoned mill 
and Randy turned the throttle knob to march him up the hill. Hmm, wonder what the plan is. Back in town, the people were as frightened as could be, but Randy knew the time had come for critical step three. The robot burst out through the trees, stepped up and took a stance while everyone fell silent as it, if frozen in a trance. Randy's eye was on the ball, no room for error now. Three, two, one, and flip the switch, a swoosh. And then, kapow! A blinding flash, a blooming crash. He knew what he had done. Randy Riley had hit the very first, his very first home run. The fireball sailed out of sight. A rousing cheer began. Hooray for Randy Riley and his giant metal man. And as the crowd went crazy, Randy stood there with a grin and mumbled, how predictable, a fastball, low and in. There he is with his little controller so he could control his man. When things returned to normal, after Randy saved the day, he went back to the baseball field to join his friends at play. And though he swings in earnest, he rarely hits the ball. But that's okay, because Randy's had the biggest hit of all. That's the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I like the rhyme of that book. I hope you do too. Have a great day.